As a pediatrician, my job is really to think about children's health broadly. You know, in this project, what we're trying to think through is how can we use the design of the school building itself to help promote healthy behaviors and long-term attitudes about things like healthy eating and a culture of physical activity that, yes, influences the direct behavior of children in the school today, but most importantly, influences the way they think about both healthy eating and being physically active for the rest of their lives. Everyone in this project was doing something brand new. They were definitely using their expertise, but in a totally new way. And um, for Terry and I, this was a chance to apply some theoretical ideas, that evidence-based, but definitely theory, that the design of a school could be utilized for something like obesity prevention. This is the Carter G. Woodson Education Complex in Dillwyn, Virginia. On the left side is K through two, and on the right side is three through five, and we have about 960 students total. Uh, we took a school, obviously one of the community's most treasured resources, and really tried to apply thinking from public health, from design, from education, from environmental stewardship, a lot of things that haven't necessarily been combined, and uh, boiled it down to a set of design guidelines, and now a real building. And working with the design and research team, we identified every nook and cranny inside and outside of the school, the color palette, the materials, the furniture, all the experiences a child has throughout the day became meaningful and rich with opportunity to promote health. We have a multi-purpose center that has a soft floor, it's a huge open gym. We have a um, full basketball court. Our art and music rooms just, just are really healthy spaces for kids. Our children love the openness of the cafeteria, the restaurant style. The kids seem a lot happier now that we are in this new building. The openness of it, having all the windows and letting in all the sunlight, it um, has really uplifted, I think, their moods as well as the teachers. This is a building that's really child-centric. It's not trying to keep them in one particular space or in one particular seat. The entire building is a classroom. A kid is a kinetic, excited entity. And many of the design decisions that have been implemented here, including all the way down to the furniture choices, are meant to let the child move. There are specific aspects about health, such as childhood obesity, that we can um, create design features around um, to promote change in that area. So as a whole, those small acts of design have a big impact. Our community loves it, but I think more than anything else, they love it because the kids are going home saying that they love school. Other schools around the country should come look and replicate what we're doing here. I think that the activity and the healthy choices really goes to supporting our academic goals, and it, it's exciting. I think all of us recognize that the spaces in which we inhabit, where we live, we work, we play, they can have a tremendous impact on how we behave, how we think about things, how we socialize. So we have to put kids first and, and do whatever it takes to give them the opportunities they deserve. And they deserve to have a healthy start to their lives. 